Well, hello there. Hello again, YouTube. I'm back after so long. I know it's been like forever since I made a video because uh, for a while I didn't have my computer and my throat chakra has been really messed up lately. Like, been focusing a lot on this chakra very closed and you know uh, there's more instances of instances of goiter these days because they're in the only source of iodine there diet it's iodized salt and, and i kind of tend to avoid that but the other one's seaweed and um thing about seaweed is the only kind available here at least is um comes from Southeast Asia and always comes with warnings about the cadmium or arsenic or mercury or lead that from the that the seaweeds absorb from the uh like radiation when they the US dropped the bomb on Japan and Fukushima melted down and yeah, so I guess I like seaweed, or I know seaweed's good for you, but I, now it's, yeah, I mean, if it was, if it wasn't associated with the radiation, I'd be it, but, yeah, so, uh, I guess eat your iodized salt in, in, um, small quantities, because we don't really need that much, um, yeah, iodized salt, like table salt, not, um, Celtic sea salt, Himalayan sea salt, Himalayan rock salt, that doesn't have iodine. Um, I just want to make a public service announcement that I think will enlighten some of you to just make the world a better place. Um, one, the thing about, uh, I want to talk about those dates on Foods, food labeling dates, so like sell by, best by, um, expiration date. Okay, those are all made up. They're they're not for the consumer. They're for the manufacturer. I guess it matters what kind of food it is. Like something like yogurt. I'm pretty sure it's past the expiration date. It might yeah you know, make you sick and yeah like animal products are not. Typically not, um, um, I don't know, it probably varies depending on how it's stored and everything, but I know eggs, they last like five weeks past the expiration date, or, you know, those dates are made up by the manufacturer because they want you to throw out that, um, those foods whenever you think it's bad, which is probably sooner than it actually is bad. Then you just buy more. Or they want you to um, enjoy those foods at their maximum crunchiness or saltiness or sweetness or whatever. They they can't have you trying it a couple weeks after it's prime when it tasted best. Because you know then they don't make honey or they don't make as much. You know, we live in a very sick society where money is valued over everything else. That's why they tell you to eat three square meals a day with snacks because it's not the healthiest diet. You're much healthier going maybe a day or two without eating. Um, so the reason they say to eat three meals a day like breakfast, lunch, dinner is because uh, if you choose to not eat for one or two meals or a long time, uh, who makes money? Not the people selling the food. Uh, if anyone, you, the person not eating, because when you're not spending as much on medication, you're being your own doctor, and um, you're just not spending as much on food. And what if all your food, like, you because you waited so long you just um you only eat the things you find out in nature because i mean i mean before grocery stores i'm pretty sure people when they were just relying on nature they probably go days without buying stuff 
scrolling like wild eggplants or wild apples or wild um, kale or whatever. Um, so yeah, I'll attach more information in my links, put links in the description, but, um, so expiration dates, sell by dates, specify dates, it's all made up, especially with things like, I don't know, flax seeds or, uh, I don't know, certain foods last longer, or maybe just, just eat less, like, that'll solve a lot of things. Because one of the main issues in, like, environmentalism today, or farming, uh, they're considering how, how are we going to feed so many more people when the human population is exploding? Maybe, maybe just eat less. Like, I, I've had visions of the um, people in charge, when a person wants to eat, they say, how many days has it been since you ate? Because, I mean, a lot of times people just eat because they're bored. Um, so maybe instead of eating, just find something to occupy yourself with. Read a book or watch a movie or TV, meditate, uh, do qigong, uh, just listen to bird calls, um, do origami, draw. Uh, Listen to music. Uh, or just drink water. Because a lot of times you think you're hungry when you're really thirsty. Just just drink water. From. So yeah. Or just don't be bored. I mean, there is a Hindu uh, proverb. Like, if you have two pieces of bread. Sell one to the poor. Or, no not sell one. But give one to the poor. Like charity. And sell the other, and buy hyacinths to feed your soul. Because I mean, a lot of times it is just sensory information that you're looking for. Like a lot of food is just sensory information. Or well, in actuality, the human body is a bioelectric system. We function on electricity, so the big source of alternative energy is just the sun. So, in every morning when there's a, big, a good sunrise, I just, I run outside and I try to get to a more natural area without um, telephone wires or where you hear bird calls or somewhere with clean air. Just watch the sunrise or try to make sure you got a good view, like no obstructions. Um... And also, the thing about conserving food is, uh, if you didn't know, there are plenty of foods, like, mostly produce, um, lettuce, uh, carrots, um, celery, uh, basically any herbs, like green onions, uh, things that, if you cut off the, uh, like, stems, certain parts, the ends, you can set them in water and they regrow. It's like so amazing. I'll, I'll put more links in my description now. Because you can regrow like trees uh, from fruit. But thinking about and most fruit trees or at least apples I know. They, they have to be grafted from an existing tree. Because I mean the, tr the apple seed will start. Coming, becoming a sapling, but I mean, once it's grown, it could be any of the thousand types of um, apples. So very unlikely it'll be the same type of apple it came from. For um, you know, apples, it's it's more likely it'll be unedible or like crab apples. So um, yeah, apples are kind of complicated. Um, but, uh, yeah, growing your own food is a great, great thing. Um, you just find out in the wild, uh, 
scoop down on the ground. And, um, I was thinking about more about conservation now. You know, there are a lot of Native American languages that don't have a word for conservation, but just assumed way of life to only take what you need. Because, I mean, if you're picking stuff in nature, if you take, like, let's say there's a cluster of 40 mushrooms and you take, if you take all 40, it probably won't grow back, or it's less likely. And, um, but if you take maybe 27, then it's more likely it'll grow back. And you'll be able to get mushrooms again, or put our food. Well, another thing about replanting your groceries, I wanted to say, um, like organic, it helps a lot if it's organic. Um, I know organic will definitely regrow, and conventional may or may not grow. So keep that in mind. Um, let's see. Wanna talk about um, Oh yeah, you should always question like where do things come from? All, all the consumer goods you consume always question where do they come from? Like, where did this melon come from? This watermelon, was it grown in someone's backyard? Or did I grow it myself? Or did it come from, like, over 50 miles away? Or uh, this um, banana, like, how was it grown? Was it hybridized? Or, you know, all bananas these days are actually genetic clones. They don't really have seeds, like, we know monocropping is really not good, but I mean, we still do it with the banana because we don't know. It's like we have banana shaped pipe and it only fits one type of banana, the Cavendish. And there are all those other types of bananas, but they're just not profitable, I guess. Uh, the banana industry is actually really um, messed up. like. I'll, I'll put another link in my description to Banana Land documentary. Uh, so always question like, where did this food come from? Like, the people who are associated with it, who grow it, like, were they, did they happily grow it? Did they enjoy their job? Or were they really sick with all the pesticides that are sprayed? Like, does this crop damage the ecosystem of wherever it came from or even the clothes you wear like was this um, made in a sweatshop or did the people suffer were they fired for just laughing because i know there are some sweatshops in china where they would be fired just for laughing you know it's crazier um was this, like, if it came from a place like China, India, Vietnam, I wouldn't buy it. It's, it's like, yeah, switch off. Um, and not just the clothes, or, or another thing about clothes, like, think about how much money did this cost her? If you actually try to sew things yourself, You'd understand the cost, because, like, the material costs, and also, sewing is actually kind of, well, at least it's difficult for me, uh, but I, I wish I could sew better, or knit, crochet. You know, actually with crochet, they, it's all done by hand. They have not invented a machine that can do crochet yet. Um, and it's good to know the history of a product, like what, 
how it was passed down, if it was passed down from generation to generation, or what hands it passed through, like, that kind of relates to psychometry. Oh, psychometry is like maybe a, um, a person could uh, be in a, um, like, old castle and they take hold of a suit of armor and they immediately know, okay, this belonged to a knight that lived in France and he died in fire during the Hundred Years War or whatever. So, yeah, psychometry is like you grab an object, maybe an article of clothing someone always wears, and all of a sudden you get these visions of like where this person was or what foods they ate or you know what they feel or yeah so visions um yeah so pay attention to your psychic phenomena i'm i'm starting to think that you can just uh meditate for a really long time uh try to not move and just pay really close attention to whatever pops into your head because I'll tell you about all the stuff going on around the world because I'm pretty sure that's where the internet came from. Four people made the internet into a physical thing that you hold in your hands. The, the idea came from your brain. Just people would meditate for a long time and have these visions. Or they listen to the thunder and lightning, and all of a sudden they like see a music video of um, the electric slide. Like their intuition or whatever is telling them it's electric. Whatever that song is, yeah. and that's how they learn that the body is electric. Is there anything else I want to talk about? Um, so eat more fruit. Uh, it's really good for you. Um, maybe try a fruit fast. A couple of days only fruit, or a couple of days not eating. Yeah, I've gone multiple days, consecutive days with only water, and I felt fine. So I'm pretty sure. Just the people selling those foods who are trying to brainwash and brainwash us into thinking, you need to eat this much every day, and because they just want you to buy more. Um, this video is all really long. Love you, YouTube. Bye. Pay attention to your body. Uh, yeah, when you're fasting, always. Listen to your body. Um, yes, it varies from different people. Uh, use mudras like prana mudra. That's this. Um, Bikini. Linga. Remember the tongue one. Uh, 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 it's um using your tongue on the soft palate. It's, that's called Heaven's Bridge. Um, and yeah, so try to plant more trees and eat less meat. Remember that prayer works for prayer works for some people that get tiny Yeah, um, I'll put a link in the description.